I have a surprise for you guys today. This is something that I've been waiting for and working on for a while now, and it's finally able to show you. So real quick, guys, let's open the door and I'll explain everything. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. So what this is, it's a 1997 7.3 liter power stroke. It's an F450 with the cabin chassis because they didn't make F450 boards back then with, uh, with just the pickup truck. So we put totally restored this it has like 250,000 miles bought it cheap for like 3k from some farmer go ahead start it up installed new stereo i actually have uh cb down there tow brake control so i kind of fitted it to be our thing what's really nice is it's a four door so if we ever got to make rescues or just haul a large amount of people we can and there's garrett he got here a little early but let me I'm trying, I'm going to explain to you guys everything that's going on in something that Garrett and I have been working on. He's getting backed up. So that's a brand new truck. I actually haven't seen it. He picked it up on Facebook marketplace. It was a decommissioned volunteer firefighter. It's a Chevy C70. It's got the dual axle and it can hold quite a bit of water. All right, Garrett, it's good to see it. And it's good to see our new unit you're bringing in. Yeah, this thing is a beauty. It's a little bit older, but I am a fan. No, I'm happy we got it. It's gonna it's gonna hold the water that we need. That was our problem. Our uh, our 7.3 liter, it, I mean, it can hold, I think it's got a 180 gallon, no, I think it's a 150 gallon tank, which is good for spot fires, but that's about it. Yeah, if, if anything big happens though, we always got this thing and this can hold plenty. You can fill up whatever trucks we need. For sure. So I was just kind of explaining to everybody what we've been doing. Quickly shut off the truck here, but I'll kind of, Garrett, you can walk around too. So this building was here. First off, it was surrounded by a bunch of brush and trees. We're on Middle Ridge. So we're, this is the Black Montana mountain range and we're about in the middle of it. And it's been getting a lot of forest fire action and there's no volunteer unit out here so a lot of times these forest fires are you know getting to people's homes stuff like that so garrett and i we volunteered good americans right garrett oh yeah yeah we did and did you see the american flag on this thing by the way like i saw i just had to mention it that's beautiful that's beautiful so it was wild west <laughs> county fire department we should probably take their sticker off because maybe we should name it uh gns volunteers or something on there that'd be cool i don't know maybe people can comment some names down below and choose the best one very cool. Yeah. So pretty much there was this old road. This used to be a lookout, right? I'm not sure what it was, but it was a lookout. You know, somebody out here was doing weather reports, all that stuff. And this is where they kind of live, but we transformed it. We did leave the brick wall. This was original things we did was like new windows, new doors. Of course, they were all broken, new roof. It, it was leaking bad. And then we redid, uh, we tried to redo, use some old side in here. There we go. Thanks for opening the door, Garrett. No problem. Do you see the back door we have here too? That's right. So we can always sneak out the back in case fire comes from the north. But we kind of brought tools, all this stuff. We have engine lifts, kind of lift heavy stuff. So this is our outlook. This is where Grant, er, Garrett and I are going to be stationed. So we're going to be doing a fire prevention, making, uh, you know, maybe doing some control burns, cleaning up brush that's kind of hazardous in certain areas, and then just helping. There's quite a bit of campers out here too. So doing educational stuff, but this is, this is our volunteer firefighter setup. I've been wanting to do this a while and let's, uh, we actually have some work to do. Yeah, we do. And I hope it, like the main thing with this place is that if anything happens in this forest, we are the first resort. We are the ones that are going to get the call no matter what it is. It could even be something like completely random that we typically wouldn't do. But since we are the closest, if we're able to help, we will. Yeah, maybe there's a, a camper's cat got ran up in a tree and he's stuck. Maybe we got to go. I don't think we're going to get any cat calls, but, you know, I'm just saying that could be crazy. Those, are, those would be tricky, though, because all we got is, like, some little small ladders you can carry by hand. We don't have a ladder yeah. truck or anything up here. We probably should get a pretty big ladder, but, I mean, we, we really are... We probably don't need it, but yeah, let's, uh, yeah. we have a few trails that after the windstorm the other day, those are kind of blowing down. We have diseases in the trees, so we got to go clean up some trees in the road and make sure people can get through. Yep. That sounds like a good plan to me. And we got a winch too, to help out if need be. Perfect. Smart. Yeah. So great. You can bring the C70. What I want to get next is a four wheeler. So guys, let me know in the comments what kind of four wheeler we should get. Do you get, you know, Yamaha or do you get Honda? You know, what do you, what kind? So yeah. Those are all great options. We'll That's the plan. See. We could put a little tanker on the back too, just like a little 50 gallon setup. That that would be good for spot fires. Oh, that would be really handy. We'll have to see as time goes on, like what pieces of equipment we really need, but a four wheeler would definitely be nice. For sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to quickly, let's go over just the seven, what this perfect truck is. Garrett and I totally restored it and everything. 
So you can open up the back here. There's solar panels on front if we're ever really in the br in the bushes. And then we got chainsaws, hoses, a bunch of other adapters, sweeps, axes, you know, kind of fire, fire brush kit. And then we have rollout hose. So this holds, I think it actually holds like 250 gallons. It's not a bunch, but, you know, we got an air compressor, generator, run it, and pump the water. So Yeah, we got everything we need. Very good. I'll have to look how many gallons it holds, but Garrett was kind of in charge of that. Garrett, how many gallons was it? Oh, this one? I honestly don't remember. What was your guess? I think it was closer to 500, but anyway, we, we can head out. We'll figure that out some other time. Yeah, just follow me. I What would be really nice is to have a four-wheeler, but uh, we, we did cut down these trees. Like I said, we had to do a bunch of brush renewal, and we've been working on it for a few months. We got to clean up those trees sometime. Oh, yeah. And this thing is pretty hard to drive with so much weight, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe have you half full when we're kind of doing this stuff, but... I honestly think that truck will stay at the shop 90% of the time. It won't ever go on calls like this. Yeah, definitely. And there's our water station we just passed. Yeah. If you saw it. We made the water station, so we have extra water up here in case of last resort. But most of our stuff is going to be prevent defense and then just kind of organizing people. So, Garrett, you let me know where we're heading to. All right, Garrett, this tree here, put that in your notebook. We should probably clean that up. Maybe if we have time and we finish up this job, we can come back on our way. Okay, sounds good, man. Oh, I just oh, saw right, a few elk down. over there in that ridge. They spooked them. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's something we're definitely going to have to be watching out for is the animals. Didn't even think of that. That's for sure. Am I going the right way, man? Oh. Oh, you're all turned around. No, you are not. I know. Okay. Let me turn around. Oh, there's more. Wait. Elk? Or... Yeah, there's some elk here. Okay, don't don't scare me. I thought you were going to say bears for a second. No, no, no. No bears. No bears. Yeah, and we might have sometimes campers run in with bears. We're about two hours away from the closest town, so that is uh, that's us for sure. All right, I see you down there, Garrett. Yeah. All right. Do you see that tree that's kind of right at that edge? Yeah, there's. I wonder if we should move it. I, the tree that we're going to is still down this way, but yeah, those two trees, we can get those marked and get those cleared. But this one's the worst by far up here. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't think behind. I don't think the the elk could get past it. No, I'm kidding. They can get past it, but here it is. <laughs> slow down. Slow down. Ten. Okay. Four. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so what this is, Garrett, we, we don't have the money to do it, but what we need to do is take down pretty much all these trees got slammed with the with the tree disease, and so these all died, kind of blowing over when we have bad storms up here. So look at this tree. This is a hazard right here. Oh, yeah. No, what if that thing falls anymore on a car or something? That's Look at it. It got uprooted, the ball of roots right there. But let's first things first, we got to get through it. Let's go ahead, get this up, just kick it to the side. And then uh, pile it up so we can come do a control burn later. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys, got my chainsaw back here. Chainsaw I run is like a, a mid-sized chainsaw. It's a steel MS 275. It's it, you know it's the rancher, it's the farm boss, but it's uh, it, it's perfect for what we need. It's just, it's big enough, but it's not too big. Run an 18-inch bar, and uh, yeah, Garrett, let's winch this out of the way. That should that way we don't have to cut it up so much right now. We can kind of keep okay. moving. Sounds good. Now, which side do you think we should pull from? Let's do... Cause... I'm going to nib this here. There we go. Then I'm going to make a cut here, and we'll probably break it into two. We don't need to have it that big. Yeah, so no, this is this pretty big is log. huge. All right, Garrett, go ahead. Jump in the pickup. I can run the winch for you. Yep. Oh, do you call this thing a pickup? Hey, I Man, I call everything a pickup. Well, what should we, we need to figure out names? This is my pride and joy right here. 7.3 liter power stroke. Doesn't get much better than this. But uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out just the truck, water water tanker. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We need a special name for all of these things. All right. Go ahead. Start her winching her. She should be good. Okay. Let me turn this bad boy on. There we go. Is it moving? Yep. She's rolling. Okay. Let me know how I am. Is your truck going to get hit or? No, it, it's okay? actually swinging pretty good. It's hung up on that and hopefully it just stays hung up and then. Yeah. Wow. Should okay. That's able. actually perfect. Did you plan out your placement there or? Kind of, okay. There, I, I mean, it's working decent. We, we still need to get it off the path, but we're here real quick. Maybe let's pull your truck just a little more off the road here. All right. There we go. I think that'll be good. We can kind of pile them all up off the side here and it'll be out of the way okay i'm gonna keep on pulling then you know one thing that's pretty funny is that we have lights and sirens that work on all these and we kind of made it a priority too but realistically me and garrett were talking about this like do we even need lights or sirens i mean we're two hours away from any city when we throw the sirens on who are we maybe we're telling the bears to get out or the elk yeah i think I it's know. mainly just to scare the animals if we ever have to but obviously Real it's quick. not even our don't goal. hit my pickup man all right looks good garrett we'll go ahead yep. detach 
and move on to the next one. All right, I'll bring this thing around. No, just sit right there. I think it's perfect. Just fast winter from there. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yep. There we go. She moving? Yep, looks good. Sliding your way. All right, perfect, perfect. wonder if we could ever it. double winter. Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe we should try that on the next one. And we're good. 10-4. There we go. All right, we got one winch here. You know what? Let me, uh, we're going to cut this back just a little bit, and then we'll see if we can get two, uh, two chains on. That would be cool. Uh, no, just pull that. I think it's going to be too much weight. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead, pull, pull, pull. Ooh, okay, this one is pretty heavy. Like I said, we're just trying to get out of the way, get people coming by so nobody's stuck. We quite a few complaints. I'm going to trim up this edges here. Yep, watch out because it is rolling a bit. There you go. Looks good. We can detach. All right. And I think we're good, Garrett. This this looks good. So in your notebook, write down those other two logs that were kind of in the way. They aren't bad. And then this is probably going to be tomorrow's project. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. This thing definitely is going to need work. I don't even know how we're going to do this safely, though. I think she's hung up. And I think we might take down this tree here. But uh, there's quite a bit of variables. We might cut it from the base. It's just it's going to be a tough cut. We'll see. Yeah. We'll have to see. Who knows? It could even just fall down itself. True. We you can always know. put a winch on it. I was. You know what? Let's put a winch on it from down below. You know, there's no too big of fear. It's not going to come rolling. It has the root ball there. I sh think it should come down. I think so, too. But that means somebody's got to crawl up there, <laughs> attach the winch, and then crawl back down, and I'll do it. But that's pretty crazy. Yeah. That's for another time, though, man. All right. Let's head back. It is getting a little late. We still got to make uh, some... Sp sp what are we having spaghetti yep i got some spaghetti we really are limited on food right now we didn't quite think that one through yeah we'll, we'll have, have to, to run into off. town sometime yeah unfortunately i just want to stay out here you know yeah i hate running back in town it's a two hour drive but yeah see if you can pull up and around and let's head back to the garage all right guys what's perfect about this truck one it has 7.3 liter power stroke diesel so it's super reliable and it's just, it's perfect. Garrett and I fully restored it. New interior, that's, I mean, we didn't really restore that. We just got a new interior. And she's a beautiful truck, beautiful. And we, really nice aftermarket antenna. So if Garrett and I are ever, you know, really out deep in the forest, we can still communicate. But we're just getting back. So this is Middle Ridge. The ridge up there, that's, they call it, because it's the middle of the mountain range. And so that's why this garage is here too, because perfect. We can get to all the forest fires. And here's the little driveway we made. We need to, like I said, we need to get rid of these stumps, do some touch-up work. She's pretty steep. If we could try and level it out a bit, I guess as long as the ta tanker can make her in. All right, let's get back in here. And there we go, guys. We're going to make some food. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more of this, please smash like button. That, that literally just tells me that you guys want to see more of these videos. And I will make more. I look at the likes and I'm like, I go make more videos that get more likes. So that's one way to tell me. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. Eek.